Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Let's go through the steps on how to remove a storage pool from a Dell EMC Unity. All right, so we're gonna assume that you've already configured the storage device on the network, that it's available on the network, that it's got an IP address, it's available uh, via a host name. So we're gonna open up a web browser and connect into the backend storage device itself via the IP address. So here we are under the pool section, under storage. We want to remove a storage pool. So I could just select that pool and just click on the little cross here and say delete. And oh, the delete job failed. Now why did it fail? Let's have a look. So right here you'll see that the delete failed. It doesn't really give you much information. Really, Think about it uh, in a logical form. So the way that you would create a, uh, let's say a data store, for example, that is presented within a VMware environment, has a uh, LUN that is associated with it. So in order for a pool to be deleted, you need to delete the LUN first. Uh, make sure that that LUN is not visible on your target host. And once all the LUNs have been removed or deleted, unassigned from the pool, you can then go and delete that pool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into block right here. Within the block section under storage, you'll see that there are four LUNs in here. Data store one, data store two, test and test two, along with the pool that they are assigned. So you'll see that the first three data stores are assigned to pool 01, which is pool 01, and then pool 02 has the data store test two LUN associated to it. So you select that LUN and you'll see that delete is not clickable. I cannot delete the LUN yet because the LUN is being presented to some host. So some hosts know about this LUN. So before I can actually delete the LUN, I need to remove the hosts that are connected to this particular LUN. So let's go ahead and edit that LUN first and go under host access up the top. First thing is obviously good practice is you want to firstly go into your, um, uh, your let, let's say your VMware ESXi host, you want to remove it from there first. So go in and delete that data store, remove it from there first uh, as a good practice before you go into here and essentially just pull the plug. Remove it from the host first and then go into the LUN and then remove access to those hosts straight from here. So you'll see that under host access, I've got three ESXi hosts that are visible to this LUN, all right? So what I need to do is I need to remove these first in order to delete it. So select all of them. Now I don't have to apply anything. It's already done it. So I can just click on close and that should be good to go. So now I can select data store two and delete that LUN. Delete like so. So data store underscore test two will now be deleted. Now that the LUN has been deleted, I can go back into pools, select the pool that I now want to delete, which is going to be pool underscore 02, and remove the pool. It's gonna give me a little bit of a warning. You can go through and read that and select delete. And you'll see that that pool has now been deleted. So the standard process is to go into the LUN, remove the LUN access to the host, and then go into the pool and then you can delete it once all the LUNs have been removed from there. So there you have it, that is my overview. I hope you found this helpful. There's definitely a lot of stuff that uh, you can go into on the storage device. If you want to know more, let me know. We've also got a whole bunch of other videos that talk about SAN and NASs um, of various types and the different technologies associated with those, as well as a whole bunch of other technology videos across my Digital Bike Computing YouTube channel. Either way, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me as well to keep updated on my new videos as they get released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.